What is going on everyone, Mr. Simo for the win here and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Today I'm actually going to be showing you guys three different glitches in Grand Theft Auto Online and the first glitch I'm going to be showing you is how to get inside of the dam. Now for this glitch you are going to need to have a cargo bob which can be found at the airport and also you are going to need the boat called the Sun Shark. Now this boat is only about $25,000 so it's pretty reasonable in price. So once you go ahead and get your cargo bob, you want to go all the way over to your sun trap which can be purchased or requested right from Pegasus. Now once you go ahead and collect your boat, you simply want to go ahead and drop it into the dam location just like I do in the video. Now you can find different boats in this location but for this glitch to work, you must be in this exact boat. Now what you want to do is reverse your boat all the way into the dam and just before you hit the end, you simply want to go ahead and jump out of your boat. Now if you do this glitch correctly, you will jump straight out of the boat into the dam and you will breach straight through it. Now this glitch is pretty cool because believe it or not, it looks very limited where you can go. However, you can go all the way down to the drain pipe which I showed you in the video just now and your friends can't actually see your feet through the drain pipe so that's pretty cool as well and you can walk around and explore. Sometimes you will actually fall through the map so it's just... It's just more or less a trial and error glitch more than anything, but you can walk around, you can shoot out of this, and you can shoot anyone who comes near you, which is a pretty cool glitch, and I think this is one of the coolest glitches still working in GTA 5 Online, because of course, we've tried a lot with this down, we've tried to break it, we've tried to do everything, so just being able to go inside it is pretty cool. The second glitch I'm going to be showing you guys is how to walk underneath water. Now we're going to have the same concept, we're going to need the cargo bob, and we're also going to need the sunshine. Now, essentially, you could drive the sunshine all the way up to this location in the video. If you want to do that, be my guest because it is approachable. You don't have to drop it in a place where you can't get to. But unfortunately, if you want to drive all that way, be my guest. But just using a cargo bob makes life a little bit easier. So once you come to this location on the map, we're going to be doing the exact same process we did on the dam. So what you want to do is look for this massive rock, it's pretty hard to miss and what you want to do is do the exact same concept. So make sure you have a little bit of space between you and the rock and then you want to start slowly reversing and just before you hit the rock you want to go ahead and press triangle or Y and you want to simply go ahead and get out of your boat. Now again if you've done this glitch correctly what should happen is you will jump out of your boat and straight through the rock. Now again, this is another trial and error glitch, straight away you will be placed underwater, but as you can see it's glitchy straight away, so I'm trying to use my weapons and I can't use them just yet. All you need to do is simply keep walking forward or swimming forward and eventually what will happen is you will start walking on land. Now from here you can pretty much shoot underwater, you're technically underwater, loads of people will be looking for you and they'll be like, hold on a minute, where are you? And as I'll show you in the video, you can shoot out of this glitch. I do shoot my firework launcher, and as you can see, it is going beyond land, which means that you can pretty much shoot anyone who comes close to you. So this is a pretty nice glitch as well, and I definitely want to be finding more of these glitches using this boat method, because I'm pretty sure there'll be some awesome glitches around the map. The third and final glitch I'm going to be showing you, and it is quite old, but I think a lot of people have forgotten about this, is a secret set of ladders. So for this glitch you are going to need a fairly tall vehicle, I would recommend a truck or a lorry. You can purchase these on a website on GTA Online, they're not very expensive, I think it's about ten to fifty thousand dollars, they're very, they're not expensive at all. And what you want to do is come to this exact location I do in the video. Now as you can see there's like a balcony with ladders right above me, what you want to do is park the lorry right underneath it, you want to climb on top of the truck and you want to go ahead and press square or X on the set of ladders. Now you've got to be stand in a pretty decent location because you might actually miss it like I do in the video. So you will eventually get it and what you want to do is just walk all the way around and you want to climb the set of ladders. So here you can see this one's working, you want to climb up the second set of ladders but for some reason, you don't, yeah don't go down like I did either, but for some reason when you go up the second set of ladders there's like, hold on a minute, there's nowhere else to go. Well what you want to do is just simply walk around, push against the wall and there is an invisible set of ladders. I don't really know why this happens but as soon as you go all the way up and go through you just automatically die. But anyway guys that is about it for today's video. If you did go ahead and enjoy it it'd be, it would be greatly appreciated if you could support the video by leaving a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already why not subscribe as I post all the latest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So with that being said thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.